this is Mike Spence. One of my favorite things about SolidWorks 2011 is some new options in the Parting Surfaces tool under the Mold Tools. If you've ever created parting surfaces for parts with complex regions, you're probably well familiar with the typical habit of having to create the parting surface using the Parting Surface tool and then edit and add in extra surfaces to get it to the shape you want. For example, I'd like a 50 millimeter parting surface on this part. And it does a pretty good job of extending this region out, but you'll notice there's some variations on the two sides on the parting surface, and that's not exactly what I want. So there's a new option down in the option settings for manual mode, and this has some real strength to it. In manual mode, you can adjust where the different vertices transfer out to essentially a virtual rectangle. Like in this case, I can take one of these handles and simply drag and drop it to a new location and this will even snap back to a linear direction from that location. In this region I need more of a fill surface rather than a radiated or ruled surface. So I can right click on the end of these points to start a fill surface region and end it at this point and I get a much better result for what I'm looking for. So as a result on this part, I get a very nice parting surface without having to do a lot of manual editing in SOLIDWORKS 2011.